Hello folks, it's George Leoniak and welcome to New Geometry. <clears throat> I'm super excited to be here today because today I'm gonna share a technique that I've come up with that's based on Patrick Flanagan's uh, method of drawing the Sri Yantra with the golden ratio, uh, uh, golden ratio pyramid. It has uh, the nine interlocking triangles and we're just gonna focus on drawing the triangles um, but I really want to introduce you to a mini course that I put together that's free. Let me share the screen just so you can see what that website page is that has a 33, um, 33 step guide to drawing the nine triangles of the Sri Yantra. So please check this out. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's a free uh, 40 page uh, PDF. These are the step-by-step -step instructions of going through um, all the techniques that you'll need to do with the hand-drawn method with the compass and straight edge. Um, it's at newgeometrycourses.com, courses slash Sri Yantra. So check that one out. I think you're really gonna enjoy that. Um, I'm going to also draw it on the iPad quickly today, but I'm not going to go over doing all the labeling and every single thing to do the setup because uh, I created the awesome course site for you to just uh, get the free PDF and the video lesson that I'll also do the hand drawn, um, hand drawn with the camera from above so you could watch that being drawn. But if you're going to go for it today, what you'll need are these materials. <clears throat> and then we are going to jump over to the iPad. I'm going to show you how this works, and then we're going to come back and I'll wrap up the presentation just talking about Patrick Flanagan's method and some of the accuracy of the Sri Yantra and a couple other, uh, another example of it out there. Um, there's a few examples. Of course, there's a lot of examples, but I'll just talk briefly about some of the research that's been done on it. All right, so let me jump over to the screen share of the iPad. I've got it set up to do a quick drawing of this just so you could see how it works in action. And let's uh, do the drawing on the iPad. Okay, I'm gonna uh, kind of skip a lot of the uh, steps of just getting this, you know, the crosshairs here, because like I said, go get the guide. It's 40 pages. It shows you how to set up and get the uh, vertical and horizontal line here. So let's, uh, once we got that set up, we're going to, now we, we're going to create the golden ratio circle. And we would do this by creating a little vesicle off to the side, but I'm going to do this quickly. We're going to bring this point up over here. And then from this outer point to the outside, we're going to connect to that. And we're going to swing our compass up to the top there. And then we're going to make a big circle at that point. Now, this is all in preparation to set up our golden ratio pyramid, which is going to be what I'm drawing here. That's going to be phi ratio triangle. Uh, Kepler's triangle would be half of this. And we don't even really need the middle line anymore. So I'm going to take that out. So there's our golden ratio pyramid. And the next thing is we got to get the downward pointing triangle. And the way that I discovered this is in the guide, you'll create two ves a vesica like that and send it across. It looks a little busy, but essentially what I'm saying is, um, we will just create the midpoints between the base of the triangle and this circle here. And now we're going to just run our ruler parallel across, which would be the vesica in the guide, creating the base of the triangle down below. And that was the technique that Patrick Flanagan, you know, never, never really showed how he was able to create the triangle pointing down. So that was the novel approach that I've come up to create the solution for that. We don't need that circle anymore. Pretty much we have everything we need now to draw the rest of the diagram. 
So we, uh, the steps that go from here are we're going to take our compass again and set it up to the half the base length here of the bottom triangle. And then we're going to plant our compass at the intersection of the vertical line and the base of the upper triangle and mark a point down um, below, down at this here. And we're going to do the same thing with the downward pointing triangle. Take that measurement, their compass of the half the base of the lower pointing triangle and put it on the midpoint of the uh, lower upper pointing triangle and swing our compass up. Okay, so it's kind of a reverse of both of those there. Now we're going to, from those two points that we've set up, let's do some rays here. We're going to send a ray down from here through this little intersection of where those two pyramids cross. And I'll send a draw the line in. And it's not going to be the ending point at the circle there. We just need to set it up. So we'll eventually cap off that triangle there. Then I'm going to start from the point, the lower one, and go to that same intersection of the two triangles on the upper portion. I'll do it in both places at once. And then let's connect the dots there. All right. So the next thing that we'll do, this is a key portion here, is we have to draw some simple guidelines, setup lines that are gonna be from the intersection point of those three points up to the little area where the uh, edge crossed through there in this kind of central hexagon in the middle. So I'll do a cross there and we'll zip across and make a line across the base there. Let's delete those lines. That's all they were there for. So that gives us this point right here that's crossing the vertical line. So that's gonna be the next location that we can send a line up from that base through the two points here. And let's just extend the lines out to the outer circle because we haven't been able to finish off where that is yet. So next up, we're gonna draw a parallel line across and this will now frame in the top portion of our triangle as the base of the uh, the point of this triangle coming in is going to touch the base of that one. We'll clean all this up at the end and go over the thing with dark lines. Next thing is we're going to lay our ruler out between these two nodal points here and here and that's going to send a line across to connect to these uh, finishing off the triangle here, or we'll get rid of the race that moment. But let's leave it like this as we go. All right, so we have the two downward pointing triangles roughly framed in. We have this base here, but we wanna finish that off by sending a line up to the base of that triangle that's pointing down here, both sides. So there we go, we've got that. And now we're gonna work down from here and we're gonna to go to the base of the largest lowest, the largest downward pointing triangle. We're gonna send our rays through this little nodal intersection here and here. And now that now provides the opportunity to draw in a parallel line at that nodal intersection right here, right? So we can finish that off. And we're also going to complete this triangle by sending parallel line to the other ones and uh, you know perpendicular to the vertical line, to finish off this upward pointing triangle there. Okay, so, so far we have uh, seven triangles done. Now we have this location, which is gonna to need to have a stopping point here. And the way we'll do that is we'll go and find with our ruler layout at this intersection here of these triangles, zip your ruler across there and stop the line 
intersecting at that triangle. And now we will, from that point, send our two lines down to the base of that triangle. And now we're on to our last triangle, which is going to be uh, at this intersection point. It's creating the small triangle in the middle, um, but this is going to set up the ninth triangle. And we want to stop that line right at the inner portion of this upward pointing triangle, right, uh, this one here. And then that one is going to come down to the base of the original starting triangle, the golden ratio one. And that is like that. Now that's the nine uh, triangles. And let's now go over the, everything with the black marker or the black, uh, you know, go over with the black lines to highlight over to gray. So I'll just draw in all the triangles quickly and then I'll erase those extended lines, which were just really just a setup. It's a really sweet method and um, it's all laid out in the guide. I know this was a super fast way to do it. I just wanted you to be able to see if you don't feel like getting the guide for whatever reason, you could still attempt to do this. Um, like I said, I do do it all hand drawn in my video as well, viewed from above. So that's a great video that's on the course site there. Your totally free course, 40 page PDF and 50 minute drawing session, all for the love of sacred geometry and Sri Yantra, free for your uh, drawing pleasure. So please enjoy and have fun coloring in the design and creating an awesome Sri Yantra. Then you could figure out how to do the petals and the gates on your own if you'd like to. So there are the nine triangles uh, based on the golden ratio technique. And there, that was, that's the overview of how to, how to quickly draw it, at least on the iPad. And uh, here it is. Um, this is the version that I did for the drawing uh, setup for the lesson, the hand-drawn one. So you could follow along at that course site. Let me hop back to the um, go back to the screen share because I do want to just wrap up a few things about this and discuss the uh, Patrick Flanagan's method a little bit more in detail. So, okay, well, we did the drawing. Remember, here's this website, just plug it in. Of course, it will be in the course description or not the course description, the uh, description of this YouTube video. So once again, the 40 page PDF, which um, I'll show at the end of the video. And let's go over quickly Patrick Flanagan's uh, method here. So this student was produced, and uh, Patrick Flanagan is the author of Pyramid Power. I think there's two volumes of that, maybe even a third. Um, this little guide was uh, created in 1991, How to Draw the Sri Yantra. It's available at the shriyantraresearch.com, so you can download his method. Um, it provides a lot of great information um, of the golden ratio pyramid. It gives you all the calculations, but it gives you no reference of how to draw it with a compass and straight edge. So, and how to create the three, four, five triangle that's pointed down, pretty much it just provides the measurements of 3.125 or 0 0.875 and you know, the golden ratio values here. So it really wasn't, uh, you know, user friendly for someone who wanted to just draw that with a compass and straight edge. When I found this method years ago, I wasn't able to see that this was right here, the radius of the golden ratio pyramid was a 76.345 degree angle contained right in it. Now, those of you who have seen some of my videos know that that angle relates to the Russian pyramid or a phi scaling angle. So I was totally primed after realizing there's a value of 1.0298 to 
just jumped off the page at me and said, hey, wait, this has got to be related to the Russian pyramid. And of course, the Giza and Russian pyramid, as in my little model here, um, are related to, have a lot of them relationship, both being based on the phi ratio. So anyway, this uh, led me into the direction of being able to search around for a method of how to get that lower pointing triangle that wasn't based on the three, four, five triangle, because there wasn't really a good technique of how to draw that in there. Um, so that method is easy. It's really just uh, the vesica that I quickly showed at the beginning of the drawing section of this short video here. And uh, getting that midpoint between the two, that provided the ability to draw the base point for the triangle point down. And it's even more accurate than uh, Patrick Flanagan's original method of using the three, four, five triangle. And in fact, it's more accurate than other methods on YouTube that, you know, found you know, some say perfect ways to draw it. It's a very challenging drawing to get perfect. Um, we'll discuss that in the next slide. But here are just, you know, my GeoGebra um, calculations, just reproducing Patrick Flanagan's measurements. Here's the 76.345. Quite curious, he didn't mention the 76.345 degree angle. We know that that's the apex of the uh, Giza, golden ratio Giza pyramid here, as well as this portion of the radius of this section from the base here. There's the 51.8273 angle. And of course, this is one inch. This is the square root of phi and the edge length of the pyramid is uh, phi, 1.618. So that's all the, uh, the measurements that I came up with. Uh, this one also, this gold circle to the blue circle around it, that's a one to the um, phi square, uh, phi cubed uh, ratio. So uh, very, very neat to see the mathematics of how this was, uh, you know, basically, you know, uh, putting a little bit more uh, analysis into this diagram here that Patrick had. Okay, so there is some inaccuracy to this drawing. It's very, very subtle. You never pick it up hand-drawn. Um, it's a 99.95% accurate. And the way that I was able to calculate that is, um, first of all, this is where the inaccuracy are. These two points and everything else works fine. There are these intersections of the three crossing points, and these usually tend to be the most difficult to pick up, this lower pointing triangle. So you can draw it as just a straight line, which probably most people will do, is just to go straight through there. Um, but if I did it as a broken line, so it connects there, we'll see that it is in 180 degrees, it becomes 179.91. So close to 180, but not 100%. So basically uh, 179.91 provided a way to test that against 180, and that gave me the 199.95% accurate. Now, this little portion of this uh, red circle here, Right, this right up here that this red line is pointing. That's the red circle that is in our diagram right here. Okay, there's just a little sliver of it right here. Now, this is zooming in to that circle, right? And this is where the inaccuracy is, right? So you really got to zoom way, way in there before you could see that the three lines don't cross. Now, don't get discouraged about that and say, oh, the method isn't worth downloading the PDF. <laughs> that would be, uh, you know, kind of silly because you're not going to really find the one that you can draw out there that's 100% accurately with hand-drawn techniques. So uh, I wouldn't let the 99.95% pull up against uh, the perfectionist bug in many of us. I think you'd be more than pleased and happy to draw this one out and have a very easy technique and way to do it and incorporate the golden ratio pyramid within it. So please give it a try. I think you'll see that it's a lot less complicated than the, almost all the versions you'll see on YouTube. 
Um, I know my drawing on the iPad may have made it look more complicated, but when you go through the guide and see that the 33 steps work so nicely, I think you'll really enjoy it. And it has been tested out by a number of my apprentices so far, and they really seem to enjoy it as well. All right, so um, Patrick Flanagan's method was um, with the three, four, five triangle. Uh, of course, that's a Pythagoras triangle it was 99.7. So, you know, at the time he thought it was probably 100% accurate. Maybe he just didn't say otherwise, but um, it is uh, 99.7. And the one that I did with the other method that I came up with, which essentially makes it available to a compass and straight edge drawing, because unless you want to just do it all through calculations. Um, anyway, it's uh, 99.95, as I mentioned before, to the 99.7. You're not going to even really be able to tell, but at least you can draw the one that I showed without having to rely on the measurements. Now, their Triantra Research uh, is a web page that has a great amount of information. I'll probably send my method over to the Sri Yantra Research because that's originally where I found Patrick Flanagan's method. And there has been a recent study that's been updated and put on that site from May 2021. Uh, this amazing method is claimed to, you know, can be done with a compass and straight edge. There's a lot of circles in this little diagram over the right here, which has circles and lines and from, you know, building from the outside to the inside of the diagram, you're able to do the rest of the drawing. Now, I believe it also relied in some sort of uh, measurements involved. I think it would be very challenging to draw this with the compass and straight edge and have it come out accurately. But this one seemed to get uh, amazing results, at least in terms of meeting a bunch of criteria. Besides just having the nodal points intersect, there are other criteria of whether this is an equilateral triangle, which I don't believe this one did produce an equilateral triangle, but the Sri Yantra research has a bunch of degrees of freedom. They're called at least five, it could be more or less. And, uh, you know, there isn't really, what is it, the 100% Sri Yantra? Well, no one's really sure. There's many different examples of it. Um, but this one did meet many of the criteria. So it's a very neat, beautiful looking design there as well. Um, I, I think the method will be difficult to reproduce though um, with just doing hand drawing. So, you know, give it a shot. I didn't draw in the, uh, show you how to draw the pedal design that's around it or the gates of the four directions. You can figure out how to do that on your own. I was really interested in just drawing the uh, nine triangles and coming up with a pretty nifty way to enhance uh, Patrick Flanagan's cool discoveries. And you can color it in. Um, what I've done here, it really is based off of a square in the circle. So this circle here, which the Sri Yantra is contained in, is part of a square that will go across here, which will create the classic geometer square in the circle and you can figure out how you'd like to, you know, finish off your drawing. This is just the way that I enjoyed to, to do it. So uh, once again, here is the site link. So new geometry courses slash courses Sri Antra. We've got the free material there, but there's a lot more to explore with new geometry. Uh, the courses site has a platonic solid guide. It's got the Russian pyramid course. The apprenticeships that are ongoing. I'm in the middle of a working with the apprenticeship group now. The next one's coming up in April. Just check out the New Geometry's Facebook group. Join over there. That's a great group. Um, almost 2,600 people in that now. And the uh, Patreon site where I do live Q&As and update it with new content that are produced into different guides that you see at New Geometry Courses. Website and blog has additional information on the apprenticeship and other uh, calendar of events of different live courses. And uh, please subscribe to this New Geometry YouTube channel and check out some of the other videos that I have on here. Um, just a lot of great content. So appreciate you joining me through this quick Sri Yantra adventure that was quite a surprise to me that I came about discovering it. And it really did come out of working with the golden ratio uh, Russian pyramid 
that I've been discussing for a couple months now and seeing the relationships, but it really came down to realizing that the angle was in Patrick Flanagan's method. I just want to, I have the guide printed up here from doing the drawing earlier, so I just wanted to show you what uh, a little bit of this looks like on the inside, so you can see everything is, uh, you know, clearly labeled of how the points work. Each step is written down up in the corner there and provides, you know, all the steps to work through it. And of course, I, the video lesson is me going through the guide step by step with the aerial view. And you can see me do all the hand drawn techniques and share a few techniques about drawing things by hand with sacred geometry that you're just not going to pick up the iPad. So if you feel like going for it and having a good time drawing the Sri Yantra with the technique that you probably can easily memorize and reproduce this anytime, because once you know the basic technique of how to do it, it magically produces itself. What a great gift to give to someone else or to yourself. So much love and appreciation. Thanks for joining me here. And I hope to see that you've taken me up on my uh, gracious offer of the Sri Yantra. So thanks for joining me and much love. Peace.